All right. Welcome to our improvisation uh, series. And um, in the last time we did the right hand uh, half tone. Um, but this time we'll be, we'll be doing the dotted half tone. The dotted half tone is almost like a half tone, but um, just a little different. Um, so I'll be explaining what that is. But before I do that, I remember in the first episode, I, I showed you the, the app. I'm using the name of the app is called Metronome Beats. As you can see, they're asking me if I like Metronome Beats. And as soon as you get into the app, you see something like this at the top, right? Put it the metronome in 20 and then go to the top and put red, blue, 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 yellow, blue, 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 red, blue, 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 yellow, blue. By tapping on it, you can, you can add whatever you want to add, right? But I want red, blue, 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 right? Yellow, blue, blue, and that's it then. Right, so I will show you the difference between the half tone and the dotted half tone. So this is the half tone. uses two of those sound so one let me try again one two 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 one But the dotted half tone is one, two, three, one, one, two, three, so one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one. one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one. Do you see that? So the other one is two, two. So I'll do it again. One, two. to understand now if you're finding that difficult to understand remove the left hand from the piano stop the metronome count use your mouth as your metronome one two one two one two one two one two that's a half note and the dotted half is one two three one one two three one one two three So let's improvise on the dotted half note. So basically what I did was my improvisation was linear. So I'm going from one, two, three, four, coming back. So do, re, mi, fa, so, do, re, mi, 
So that's one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three. Now, when I count one, two, three, I'm counting the duration of the notes. So if you're wondering why am I not doing one, two, three, four, one, two, why, why is that not four? Why is it back to one? It's because the numbers are not random. This is the duration of the note. So this one has three beats. One, two, three, one beat, one. It's not, it doesn't have four beats. It has one. That's why it's so fast. Do you understand? Uh, because beginners wonder why people count the way they count. So, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three. Now I'm using random notes. I'm no longer going linear, which is your task. And sometimes the best way to um, uh, to improvise, put off the beat and do the counting in your head. You can slow it down. have to because sometimes the beat could put you in a military mood bah, 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 and you have to be fast slow down enjoy the sound and let the piano sound get into your soul so that you can create something right Another way you can do it is to reduce your metronome. So our metronome is on 20. You tap on this negative sign and reduce it to maybe, let's take it to 15. All right. Go.
So now I'm saying this. So now what you want to do after you finish this is to now mix the the whole the, the whole the half and uh, the dotted half. This is the whole right? two three four two three four two three four that's whole now the half is You may ask, hmm, how does knowing all these um, tempos or rhythms improve my play? It improves your play because you know what you're doing. It's one thing to play based on instincts and random because you feel that way. It's another thing to be able to explain, oh, this thing I just played is called a dotted half note. You understand? So your 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 genius has an explanation. Your random creativity has an explanation. And uh, when you when you when your play has a theory behind it, you can build on it. And this is not the last rhythm we'll be learning. We'll be learning more rhythms. Um, the next rhythm I think we will learn is the triplet. Um, we'll learn the triplet before we go to the quarter notes. Uh, I hope we know what the quarter note is. Uh, the quarter note is simply. Right, you're just following the beat. Bam, 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 bam. But we'll go to the triplet before we get there. So eventually, when we know all of these rhythms, we can then combine all of them into one beautiful improvisation. So take this time as you you going you're going to school. You're, right now, you're going to school. You're learning the different types of rhythm. You're practicing it, creating um, beautiful sounds with it. Eventually, when you've learned all the rhythms. Uh, you will be able to create something very beautiful and I can't wait for that time to come and then we will be implementing all these improvisations on, on the songs we're learning on this series uh, The Amazing Grace uh, The Bless the Lord Oh My Soul and the next song which is Alpha and Omega um, we'll be learning that next so let's see how it goes <laughs> 